everybody and welcome back to my channel Kore. my name is Ash and today I will be giving you a full tutorial on how to set up and start streaming using Twitch Studio Beta which is honestly my preferred streaming software for streaming on Twitch it's the one that I use the most because honestly I don't like how complex OBS is and I can't figure out Streamlabs OBS and all that other stuff it's just too complicated for my opinions I haven't seen that many tutorials for Twitch Studio Beta I honestly had to figure everything out by myself even though it is much simpler than Streamlabs OBS or just OBS in general I just figured I'd still come up here and make a tutorial on it just in case any of y'all want to triple check and make sure that you're doing everything okay. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the tutorial. Hello everybody, um, we're here now, I'm streaming, I'm recording this on my second channel using OBS. I don't usually use OBS, which is why I'm going to show you guys a full tutorial on how to use Twitch Studio. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open it up. I'm gonna show you guys how to set up everything, like all the brand new scenes and stuff like that. In a separate video, I'm gonna show you guys how I got my Twitch pet, which is just chilling right here. She's so adorable. And also, I'm gonna show you guys how to get different alerts. But all of that will be in a separate video. For now, I'm just gonna show you everything there is to know about setting up a new scene. So, without, let's just start with a new scene, like so. And so this is where the chat is usually going to be. You can like type and do a lot of commands right here within the chat. Start out a brand new scene. So to start out, you want to add a layer. And so the first thing I like to do is add green share. And this will show this a little bit of an inception right here, but this will just change depending on what capture you're using and right now it's set to like a screen capture i believe so and so we're gonna edit that out and so this is where you can change the capture here you can change your border color key chroma key all that kind of stuff but we're just gonna keep it like this so this is gonna be our capture screen right here and we're gonna add another layer and this layer is gonna be our overlay so you want to do that with an image okay and so once you add the image layer, just go ahead and choose browse an image and you just browse for it. And this is where you can set up your layout. So go ahead and resize it to the full screen. You can go ahead and rename it overlay. And then you can move your capture to be you want to have your overlay above your capture so you can go ahead and lock that layer once you have your capture like set to where you like it you can go ahead and add another layer and then we can add your webcam and we're gonna move this over here but first we're gonna choose the webcam just move your webcam over here and so that your web cam will be right here and then you can go ahead and add another layer we're gonna set up our alerts this will happen anytime that you know you get a new follower or a new sub or just something like that and you want your alerts to be over your overlay if you get a new follower it'll just show up right there and you can change the color, the picture, and the sound all through right here. So you can just select any picture that you want, change the color. We'll change this to pink because that's how I like it. And then you can also change the sound like, like this. And so now that anytime anybody follows you, it'll show up like that automatically. Next, you want to set up a chat box. So go ahead and add your chat box. And you want to have your chat box be over your overlay. And so you can go ahead and adjust that to your liking. Add it right there. 
I like to have my opacity down all the way and have it on light mode so that you guys can actually see the text. I like to scale it up a little bit so that I can actually read it. And so once you have your chat box all set up, you can go ahead and add a couple of test messages and see it if it works out, which it does right here. And so you can clear that and you can add a border if you want in different colors, but I already like it how it is, so I keep it like that. You can, if you want to add like an animated background, you would add that through here, through media. Um, this supports GIF and video, but I don't have anything animated, but this is where you would put that. Add layer. You can add text if you want. So if you want your followers to follow you on Instagram, for example, you can put your Instagram. I usually put my text right here. And so you can lock that as well. And yeah, that's pretty much all the basics towards it. Um, everything else I'm gonna be going into further depth in a different video, so I'm gonna be filming that right now as well, but this is just the gist of it. So, once you have your everything set up to your liking, you can start your stream here, for example, and this is where you edit all of your information, you just click here, type whatever you want, search add categories so let's just put in a category here St you can click whatever game and then put in whatever tags you want all of right here you can change the language usually i do french japanese or but english is the most common one then you can save it and then you can also like tweet it out from right here copy your link and like add it to wherever you want all that cool jazz and yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. I prefer Twitch Studio over OBS because it's, I like the layout, it's a lot smoother, it's a lot more clean, um, it's easier to use and easier to understand in my opinion. So yeah, that's, that's basically how to set it all up. It's really simple, it's really easy, and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. It's really not that hard, but I figured I'd make a tutorial anyways, just in case any of y'all are a little bit lost, because I know I'm lost at first. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment below what you'd like to see next, and hit that red subscribe button for more quality content from yours truly. That's all for today. See you guys in the next video. Bye. Happy streaming. I love you guys. Mwah.